How do you say that? Yeah, no, no. Just remember, Durst is the worst. Ah! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Angela Harris, H-A-R-R-I-S, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School, the African American Emer Emergent School. Good evening, Chair P Peterson, members of the committee, Superintendent Posley. A budget is a moral document. I woke up this morning extremely conflicted about tonight's budget meeting. As I prepared my testimony, I tried to figure out the right, right words to convey my morals. As an early career educator, yes, of course I need a raise. A raise that extends beyond cost of living. But my students, our students need things also. Things a raise and a salary schedule won't guarantee. We have over $800,000 in our budget for academic coaching. While our students struggle with mental health and trauma that makes ambitious instructors almost nurses, counselors, social workers, and psychologists, not more administrators to do walkthroughs to tell us our classrooms aren't engaged in more We have a million dollars in our budget, our moral document that reinforces the school to prison pipeline and the policing of black and brown children. We have no money for anti-bias, anti-racist, culturally responsive, continuous professional developments for our staff. It's refreshing to see 62 more teachers and 22 more educational assistants included in the budget, but how exactly do you plan to attract, recruit, and retain these educational professionals and fill our current vacancies? Educational assistants have suffered with less than a livable wage for much too long. The road to $15 has been long, arduous, and never ending. Our educational assistants need to be made whole with this budget. We can no longer accept there is no money. We can no longer afford to wait for the stars to align for the legislator to pass the perfect budget. It's time to get creative. Think outside the box, be innovative, and take advantage of already existing resources. Incentives like scholarships that cover college tuition, licensing fees, or teacher certifications for black and brown educators that commit to working in our district. We need to engage the community in authentic dialogue and make a commitment to provide universally excellent schools with culturally reflective educators to bring families and students back to MPS. No more all or nothing. We can have it all. It's time to get creative.